The terrifying moments following the hit and run that injured a CHP officer captured on video by eyewitness Paul Fetzer. Something that you would see in a movie and uh, um, they just, I can't believe it was right there in front of my eyes. Paul was driving eastbound on Interstate 80 near Greenback Lane around 1 p.m. when he noticed a cloud of dust coming from the westbound carpool lane and a dark pickup truck flooring the gas and zooming past him. First thing I saw, I just saw the motorcycle just laying on the side, so I immediately pulled over. Paul hopped the center divide to try to help divert traffic away from the scene with a handful of other witnesses. He says the officer was laying on his side about 40 to 50 feet from his motorcycle. It looked like he was coming in and out of consciousness. He wasn't saying anything, but um, at times you could hear what sounded like moans or groans. Within moments, other CHP officers arrived on scene and having recognized the injured officer, Paul says they shouted his name and embraced one another for comfort, an emotional moment that stood still for Paul. I mean, it's heartfelt. You can see that it's you know one of their comrades, and the picture kind of describes it. You can see that they're just, it was hard to see, but it was touching. You could see how it affected them. Paul kept his camera rolling as a medical helicopter touched down on the interstate to take the officer to UC Davis Medical Center. Reliving the moments, he continues to question why anyone would intentionally hit another person. I mean, it's, it's hard to believe that somebody could have done this intentionally. Um, it's you don't you don't really think people are capable of that. Paul tells me he left the scene shortly after the helicopter, and like all of us tonight, he sends his best wishes to that CHP officer in the hospital. Live on Inter Interstate 80, Natalie Brunel, KCRA 3 News.